Hello everyone, let's start with question number 11. So here we need to find whether the following pair of equations are consistent or not. If consistent, solve them. So consistent kab hote hain, tab hote hain jab humare paas ya to unique solution ho, ya to humare paas infinitely many solution ho. Consistent is for unique solution and infinitely many solution. Then only we can say that it is consistent. Now, when we say that they are inconsistent is when we get solution as no solution. So, therefore, they are inconsistent. So, let's try for the first one that is a1 over a2. a1 over a2 is 3 over 6. b1 over b2 is b1 is 1 here. So, 1 b2 is minus 2 then we have c1 over c2 c1 is 4 and c2 is 4 so a1 over a2 is 1 over 2 b1 over b2 is minus half and then we have c1 over c2 as 1 so you can see that from the first two values you can find out that they are not equal the first two ratios are not equal then we can say that it is a type of consistent why because it is a unique solution so, if it is unique, then, then it means it is consistent. Now, we need to solve this graphically. So, let's take the first equation that is 3x plus y equal minus 4. And we will make a table out of it that is of x and y. So, at once we will take x as 0 and at another we will take y as 0. So, when x is 0. So, if my x is 0, my y will be minus 4. Now, my when my x is 0, my y will be minus 4 again. Sorry, if I take y as 0, then this term is 0. So, I will get minus 4 over 3. Now, solving the second equation that is 6x minus 2y equals minus 4. So, again I will be taking the same values, one time x0 and another time y0. So, when x is 0, I get minus 4 minus 2. So, minus 4 over minus 2 is 2 only. Now, the second one, when my y is 0. So, if this term is 0, then it, 2 into 0 is 0. So, we get minus 4 over 6. So, it will be minus 2 over 3. So, I have coordinates here now so that we can make a graph out of it. So the first part coordinate sorry coordinate of first equation is 0 minus 4 and the second is minus 4 over 3 comma 0 and for second equation it is 0 comma 2 and minus 2 over 3 comma 0. Now we need to mark these all coordinates on a graph paper. 1, 2, 3 this is the positive x axis and here we have minus signs this is negative x axis and this is positive y axis and at below we have minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 now we need to mark 0 comma minus 4 so it will be 0 is there 0 is this and now we need to go y we need to check y as minus 4. So it will be somewhere here. So this is my point 1. Second point will be minus 4 over 3 comma 0. So minus 4 over 3 will be somewhat 1.1. 1. 1. So it will be minus 1.1 1. 1 comma 0. So it will lie somewhere here. Now what you need to do is you need to join these. Now we need to mark for the second one. So it is 0, 2. 0, 2 lies here. Now the second point, second point is minus 2, minus 2 over 3. That means it will be smaller value than 1. So lesser than minus 1, 0. So it will lie somewhere here. So now what you need to do is you need to join these two points. 
So this is what we have and you can see the intersecting point is somewhere here. So it is, it seems to be x equal minus 1 and y equals minus 1. So as stated earlier that it is a unique solution. So you can see that it is forming a unique solution here that by giving x as minus 1 and y as minus 1. So this is for part 1. Now let's check for the second part. In second part we have x minus 2y equals 6 and 3x minus 6y. So let's find the ratio of a1 over a2 first. So it will be 1 over 3. b1 over b2 as minus 2 minus 6. c1 over c2 as 6 over 0. So the first one is 1 over 3. The second one is 1 over 3. That means the first two values are same. And the last one is not equivalent because you can see that it is 6 over 0. So it is not defined. That means the last term is not defined. So therefore it is not equivalent to ratio 1 and ratio 2. So you can see that this will form inconsistent. Inconsistent why? Because it is it is the condition of no solution. So therefore there won't be any solution for these two equations. So in this we don't need to make any graph out of it. Now let's solve the next one. Third part. So it is x plus y equals 3. Then 3x plus 3y equals 9. So as you can see they are all the ratios are all equal. Let me tell you. So a1 over a2. a1 is 1. A2 is 3, so 1 over 3. B1 over B2. B1 is 1, B2 is 3. C1 over C2. C1 is 3 and C2 is 9. So the last one is again 1 by 3. So you can see all three ratios are same. And when all three ratios are same, therefore it means they can have infinitely many solutions. And if they have infinite many solutions, then we can say that the solution is consistent. Now we need to make graph out of this. So I will be taking the first equation that will be x plus y equals 3. So making table out of this. x as 0. So if I take x as 0 I will get y as 3. Now if I take y as 0 I will again get x as 3. So solving another 3x plus 3y equal 9. So for this we can again make a table out of it. So I will take x as 0 now again and my y will be 3 again. Why? Because 9 over 3 is 3. So again by taking y as 0 I will get x as 3. So you can see that they have same solution. So what type of graph we will get is coincident line. Because we have same coordinates of both the equations. The first coordinate is 0 comma 3 and another coordinate is 3 comma 0. 0 comma 3 then 3 comma 0. So they have same equation, same coordinates. So it will be a coincident line. Marking, marking all the points. So the first one is 0 comma 3. I will mark it here. Then the second is 3 comma 0. So I will mark it here. Now you need to join them. So this is the graph out of third equation. So that's your solution for question number 11.